Bailey from Move Well with Ellie Williams and I thought I might give you the lowdown on how crutches can impact the rest of your body. So imagine I have got a broken left ankle. I can't wait there for six to ten weeks and so I've got to get around somehow. So crutches are given. But what happens to the rest of your body when you use them? So standing here now, can you see how my right leg has put itself underneath the center of my body, helping me get around? I've also got my left hip dropping. So my left hip, because of my hanging leg, is lower than my right. Now what happens to the spine? Now my spine at the base has drifted over to the left. But someone not hanging around over there, it then has to flex back to the right. So can you see that little curve that's now going on in my spine? Uh, I've got shoulders up around my ears where my weight has come forwards, putting pressure on my head and neck. My head's come forwards and also roll backwards, putting a bit of compression on the base of my, my skull there. So let's have a little look side on. What does it look like? This is what's going on. So once again, the weight's coming forwards by the use of the crutches. My head has come forwards and rolled back. I've got a lot of weight going through my heels of my hands and my lower back is acting as a pivot point. Just standing here now, I'm already starting to feel these compensations clock up. So what am I feeling? I can feel my right hip on the outside start to ache a little bit. My lower back in that dimply little bit in your lower back called your sacroiliac joint. Now that is starting to give me a little bit of a pinch. My neck and shoulders are already starting to ache and the base of my head, particularly on the right side, is starting to hurt. So what happens when you've been given the all clear by the consultant and he says, you know what, Ellie, you're good to go. You don't need to have any physio or he might say you do. I've had both from clients. I chuck the crutches to the side, no longer needed. And I may have may or may not have had work on my ankle where it might have stiffened up from in the boot, but never do I get shown how to move the whole body. Whereas the whole body has been the thing that's been compensating for you to get around. So it's a really good idea to show the body these moves. Because it's really interesting how many people on their injury history forms come to see me and it looks like they've still got invisible crutches going on. So just have a little thought. Have you had crutches in your past? Do you know someone that has? Do you have a walking stick or one crutch? Or is it has it been two? And just think how that will have impacted your body to give you what you're feeling today. The body ultimately really wants to feel balanced, that's when things work efficiently, but it really is gonna try and get you around and will compensate, if it has to, for broken ankles. So, hope that's been interesting. I will speak to you all soon. Ellie from Move Well with Ellie Williams.